Basic turning and fitting. Measuring instruments. The vernier caliper is an instrument or device used to measure the height, diameter, and depth of a small object. The vernier caliper works based on the principle of difference between two scales. The least count of a vernier caliper is 0.02 mm or 0.001 inch. Now let's understand with proper diagram where these components are located and what are the functions of these parts or components. First, here we have the main scale of the vernier caliper. There are engraved readings on this main scale upwards. These readings are given in inches and downwards these readings are given in millimeters. Then there is the vernier scale. The vernier scale connected to the main scale. This vernier scale is locked in such a way that it can slide forward and backward along the main scale. There are also readings engraved on this vernier scale. We have up to 50 mm reading engraved on the vernier scale. As we can see here, 50 this vernier scale reading is equal to 49 mm readings of this main scale. In between the main scale and the vernier scale, we have the depth measuring probe or depth measuring bar. It is attached to the vernier scale. So, both vernier scale and the depth measuring probe moves forward and backward together as an assembly. Using this bar or probe, we can measure the depth of any hollow cylindrical object that is within its measuring dimensions. Here we have a locking screw. We use this screw to lock the jaws and the vernier scale in its position during measurement so that they do not deviate from the position and we can take the readings accurately after that. Here we have a fine adjustment screw. We use this fine adjustment screw to move the vernier scale along with sliding jaws very softly and thus helps to contact the jaw surface softly during measurement and adjustment to avoid wear and friction. Here the vernier caliper has two jaws. This one is a fixed jaw attached to the main scale so this jaw does not move and this one is a sliding jaw. This sliding jaw is attached to the vernier scale and it can slide forward and backward with the vernier scale. Both of these jaws are used for external measurement or outer measurement of a job or object. On the other hand, if we want to measure the inside dimension or internal measurement of any object, we have these two internal measuring jaws here, similar to the external measuring jaws here. This is a fixed internal measuring jaw attached to the main scale, and this is a sliding internal measuring jaw attached to the vernier scale. We use these internal measuring jaws when we have to take the internal measurement of any hollow cylindrical object. As we have discussed earlier, this is a scale calibrated in millimeters that is 50 millimeters, 60 millimeters, 70 millimeters and so on. And upwards, this scale is calibrated in inches. We have 1 inch, 2 inch, 3, 4 inches and so on. So, we can take readings in both inches and millimeters according to our requirements. In the vernier caliper, zero error is a mathematical error due to which the zero of the vernier scale does not coincide with the zero of the main scale. To find out if there is zero error, at first, we completely close the two jaws of the vernier caliper with no object inside the two jaws. Here, when the calipers are fully closed, measuring zero width. Now, coming to zero error here in fully closed condition, if this vernier scale zero mark coincides with this main scale zero mark, then the vernier caliper has no zero error. It is good to go. But if these two zero marks don't coincide, then there is a zero error. If, in fully closed condition, the zero mark of the vernier scale is on the right side of the main scale zero mark, that is, the vernier scale 0 is ahead of the main scale 0 mark, then it is called positive 0 error. On the other hand, if in fully closed condition, the 0 mark of the vernier scale is on the left side of the main scale 0 mark, that is the vernier scale 0 is behind the main scale 0 mark. Then it is called negative 0 error. We will discuss in details about the calculation of positive and negative zero error of vernier caliper and its calibration. As per our reading, in this vernier caliper, the vernier scale zero mark coincides with this main scale zero mark in fully closed condition, so it does not have any zero error and we are good to go. 
So now let's learn how to take a reading on vernier caliper. The formula to find out the dimension to be measured is mean scale reading plus vernier scale reading multiplied by least count. Here we already know that the least count for vernier caliper is 0.02 mm and this will not change. So, we already have the value of least count. We just need to note the main scale reading and vernier scale reading from the vernier caliper. So here is our vernier caliper. In between these two jaws of the vernier caliper, we will place a job or an object that is to be measured and then move the sliding jaw to bring in close to the object surface for grip. When the sliding jaw has come sufficiently close to the object surface, then we use this fine adjustment screw to move the sliding jaw softly in such a way that the jaws make definite contact with the object but should not be a tight grip. When the jaw is properly adjusted between the two jaws, then this locking screw is used to lock the vernier scale in its place. Now this object can be taken out easily and due to this locking screw, the measurement taken will not be deviated. Now we can note the reading and for that now we only need to observe the main scale and the vernier scale. We already know that the formula for taking the vernier caliper reading is main scale reading plus vernier scale reading multiplied by least count. First, take main scale reading. When we adjusted the object inside the jaws, the vernier scale slide along the main scale to this position. Here these are main scale marks, 20 mm, 21, 22, 23 mm, and so on. And these are the marks on vernier scale. First of all, we have to find out which main scale reading or main scale mark was either last crossed by the zero mark of the vernier scale or which main scale division has confided with the zero mark of vernier scale. So, the zero line of vernier scale is positioned between 23 and 24 readings of the main scale. These zero lines has already crossed the 23 mm reading on main scale, but it did not cross 24 mm yet, which means that our final reading will be a bit more than 23 mm. So, our main scale rating will be noted 23 mm. But we already know that the zero line has crossed 23 mm and passed a little bit ahead. So, it has to be 23 point something millimeters we already obtained 23. Now to find the rest of the point something millimeters we have to look for one vernier scale lines or markings that exactly matches with the main scale line. That is, we have find a vernier scale line or reading that has exactly coincided with the main scale line. Here we can see that the 40 marked line of vernier scale almost exactly matches to a main scale line. So, our vernier scale reading will be 40. Now putting these values to our formula, we get main scale reading 23 plus vernier scale reading 40 multiplied by at least count 0.02 mm as we already know which equals to 23 plus 0.80. So, we finally obtained our reading as 23.80 mm. Thus, we can obtain any accurate reading using vernier caliper easily.